What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on? What's going on? Can I turn that up? Look like the volume a little low. Can you hear me? Can you hear me good? Let me know if the volume low. I'm making fix some things. Yo. All right, cool. What's going on, fam? What's going on with y'all? How we doing? How we doing? I'm looking at my computer. What's up? What's up? You don't show me here. Where's the chat? Show me the live chat. All right. Gary Gregan. Secret Lizard. Police Ward. Vincent Ivory. Tony. Winston. Randy Wage. Rico Robinson, No Shade, Willie, Amir, Marcus, Jasmine, Jai Brown, JoJo Dancer. What's up to y'all, fam? Yeah, we starting to do this like a little new way, you know. Uh, Yada, what's up? Sammy, Fictional Twilight, Jay, Cameron Byers, what's up? Deshaun, Trucker D, Tanikia Steele, uh, Quinteria, Max, John, Dwayne, Young Prophecy, Daniel, Talia. Yeah, this is a whole better way, guys. So I guess I got to look at the camera. I can't look at my computer screen. I can't look at myself. So I guess I got to look at the camera. <laughs> but it's going to be kind of hard because this is a big distract, distraction. It's a new way. Yeah, so... Um, man, yeah, so we're going to get into this episode, but before we do, I want to talk about a couple of things before we get into the episode. So guys, if I don't acknowledge you during, um, during the episode, that means I'm actually not, um, you know, you know, looking at the sh a screen, you feel me? So Mama Mary, what's up? What's up? What's going on? You know? But I will throw a lot of you guys in the episode if you donate. I just wanted to do this one a different way. You know, so if you do see me looking off every now and then, it's me looking at you guys on a screen there and a screen here. You know, so. Uh, but the first thing I want to talk about, I don't know, you know, and I can't get too much in detail because this is one of our new Jack members. Okay, first I want to say what's up to do. Uh, we met him in person. He met Laco. He met Honore, you know, and that's one of our new Jack brothers, you know, here on YouTube. He got a chance to meet us in person, you know, as well as, uh, um, uh, Ray, um, why am I stuttering today? Ray Bullets, Ray Line Bullets. He got a chance to meet me in person and things like that. You know, that's my boy. I, I love his pops a lot, man. He, he's a real down-to-earth dude, and he's smart, you know, which in turn raised a smart guy, which is Ray. He's a young guy. He's doing great things for himself, you know what I'm saying? And I just always got to shout those guys out as well, you know, as well as my brother Taj, you know that, you know. So, uh, but back to our New Jack member. I don't know if you guys paid attention to the comments, you know, um, and like I said, I can't go to – much into it because I haven't talked to him yet and see how he feel about me, you know, putting this on this episode or whatever, you know. Um, he's dealing with something real serious, you know, and I ain't gonna say no names, you know, and I don't know if you guys read the comments. I'll look and see if anybody read the comments because I actually replied to him, you know. He he has a, a, a terminal illness, you know what I'm saying? And he might not be with us too much longer, but that shocked me when I read that, man. It, it really bothered me, you know. So I'm going to be trying to hook up with him, you know, and trying to make these the best days for him. You know what I'm saying? Because this is our brother, you know. So it really touched me, you know what I'm saying? Because we often take life for granted, you know, each day we, we live in, you know what I'm saying? And I know that's probably a cliche. Y'all probably heard all this before or whatever, but is sincere with me, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I done seen so much around me, so much loss of life around me, you know what I'm saying? So 
that that touched me last night. I couldn't sleep at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm serious after I read it. So, like I said, it's in the comments, guys. You know, he posted it. I, I didn't post it. He posted it. So, you know, it's free to it's they're free to read if you guys find it. And I'm not even gonna say what episode is on, you know, because I haven't talked to this person and I don't just put people business out there, you know. So uh John, what's up? What's up, Daniel Fox? You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, uh, who else we see? Pam, what's up, baby? Aris, Arius, what's up? Jermaine, what's up? Christopher, Jeffrey, Christine, Lenore. Yeah, so I'm gonna put my phone down for a minute. I can still see, but I also want to say something else. When I put the clocks in the videos, guys, that's not a permanent thing. It was to show you, you know, and a lot of people don't catch things like me. So, you know, because I, I, I got a high IQ, you know, um, it was to show you around about the times all these things was happening. You know what I'm saying? Because those was actual actual times. That's why some cut out quick, you know, and some go a long time. You know, those was actual times of day these type of things happen, you know. So I was just trying to give you guys a feel of that, you know. So that's the reason for that. But, you know, like in a new episode, I'm also adding sound effects and adding different things. I'm trying a lot of different things now, you know, because I'm getting used to it and learning it more, you know. So, uh, but I just want to get somebody give me uh, a okay that the volume's good enough. Let me know if the volume's good enough. You know what I'm saying? And we're going we gonna to move on. It was one other thing that I wanted this, this, to discuss, but I can't uh, think of it right offhand, so I'll get it at the end of the show. But you're good. That's good. That's good. And you know that's rare because, you know, I'm running it from one program to another, and we lie. All right. So with no further ado, we're about to get this thing started. Y'all ready? Let's get it started. Cock a doodle doo time and make sure your feet on your feet. So Cookie Man wake us up this morning. When we wake up, you know the routine. We go brush our teeth, get ourselves together, and haul ass out the door. Because <laughs> we want to get out of there talking in the morning. So we just chit-chatting. It ain't too nothing heavy, nothing serious. We just chit-chatting about. So me and the fellas do that until we hear the chime. Once we hear the chime, we all return to our dormitories. So we we get to our dormitories. Line up! Move out! We head in the child. And once again, we on the schedule with the cleanup crew. We we be domicile. We like, man, I hope this ain't no permanent thing, man. With these dudes, they get behind us and we head into child. We take our tray, we sit down. Now everything goes smooth. You know what I'm saying? They watching us, we watching them, but nobody make no moves. Everything good at child. You know, bring your trays and line up. So we bang our trays and we get in line. Move out. Now, this is where the shit come in at. So we heading back to the domicile. Now, when we get to the entrance of the domicile, we see C.O. Holland come running out of there and she panicking. She's panting. She's <laughs> so we know she had found out about Jerome. She's running out of there. And the first thing cooking man say, look at this bitch. And everybody in the line start laughing. You know, now that compels him to talk. This girl, stone cold hope. So you know what that means. He knows what's been going on. Oh, yeah. Remember I say, this going somewhere. It is. Never tell nothing if it ain't going nowhere. It's going somewhere serious. So <laughs> we see her fly by us. She's panting. Almost like she's about to have a heart attack. <laughs> You know, you know, you know, she hyperventilating, you know, and she's running at the same time. And Cookie Man just talking about it. So we get back, we get back to the um. Yeah, I'm drinking these Red Bulls again, Al Sarge. Uh, so, so uh, yeah, I got a good memory. Yeah, so, so uh, we get back to the domiciles. We sit on the iron benches and we waiting on the fellas to return. Now, while we sitting on the iron benches, I see school that tried to steal my sketch pad. 
He passed by me, but he don't make no eye contact. He don't even look at us. We looking at him, waiting on him, you know, to turn and look at us, but he never do. We see him go walk up to another group of old schools, you know, and every now and then I'm going to glance at the screen and make sure y'all ain't trying to tell me nothing about, you know, the story that I'm, I'm faded out or anything. Uh, all right, so we we see him run up to another group of old heads. So we like, you know, what could I think? They posture, they dapping each other down, they own, they here, you know. So I'm saying, oh, he, I'm telling Remo, oh, he, he recruiting, you know, and I'm thinking he recruiting on me. What is my mind to think? I just had a fight with this dude. He recruiting, and they getting in good. They having a real serious conversation. All these old heads, you know what I'm saying? Them old heads dangerous. So I'm watching them or whatever. Now, at this time, you know, time that passed by, they still talking. They've been talking for a minute. The brothers start showing back up, you know what I'm saying? So I get to telling them what, you know, what I see and all the brothers we talking or whatever. You know how they go. It's just like in the world. You know, you're still human even if you're in prison. You're still human, you know. So we talking or whatever. Now, I'm going to take this up about when the when the sun begins to you know shine because th this warms up to be a pretty pretty day just put it like that a, a warm pretty day in winter weather it warms up to be a warm pretty day so that's everybody's out everybody start coming out everybody start coming out the queens are uh, the cleanup crew us zip them marquise them old them everybody coming out everybody Commissary boss, everybody out. You know, they still hurt behind their reg. You know, so <laughs> that's what we're picking the story up right after that, that next day. So, so we everybody just talking. Then we hear, yeah, y'all mug, I'm sick of this bullshit. Y'all always mugging. Yeah, I'm ready to put my hands on one of y'all. We doing this uh, uh, tick for tat shit. Let's go ahead and catch one right now. Let's knuckle knuckle right now. Now, I hear the other dude say, and I don't want to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all who it is, but I hear the other dude say, bitch, what you think we scared of something? You think we scared of something? What? What it is? Let's do it. Because everybody out here, this person can't back down. Now, they go backwards and forward. Everybody just sitting there. Ooh. Oh, man, I know y'all ain't going to instigate the hell out the shit. So... We sitting there watching this shit pop off. It's Gargamel and Big Phil and them homeboys. They heated, but they agree to fight. They, the dudes who ain't got on no shoes start striking back to their dorms and both crews. Go and put their shoes on. Everybody like, oh, this is about to go down. This about to be good. This about to be good. So, so. Everybody going, they coming back, you know, one at a time, two at a time, until everybody come back, and then it, it kick up again. Man, we don't need no lot of spectators. We can go over there by the woods. Nothing but space and opportunity. We need to go over there. So everybody like, shit, it's going to be some spectators. Dudes just hollering out random shit. You know how they go. So they head to the woods. We head right behind. We can't miss this. You know what I'm saying? Gargamel and Big Phil, them homeboys. Now they cruise at this time is about what and what. They about, but you know, Big Phil crew, his, you know, he ain't Big Phil's no longer here, so don't get that mixed up. I just say that to shorten up this shit. You know, Big Phil crew, and so y'all know who it is. Big Phil crew is bigger and got the same amount of dudes Gargamel and them got. Now Gargamel and them ain't no small boys. You know what I'm saying? Gargamel actually. Bigger than me, and I'm a big dude. You just can't see it, you know. It ain't, it ain't. I'm a big dude, you know what I'm saying? So, so, uh, everybody heading to the woods, or whatever, even Papa with him. You know, Papa ain't been making no noise lately. he been in the dorm, you know what I'm saying? he been playing the dorm and playing the rap, you know. So, he he's safe. His cousin been keeping him safe. He he didn't got transferred to, he ain't with the Queens no more. He with his cousin, uh, Gargamel, Papa with Gargamel now. So, you know, but he out there today. Everybody out there, they want to be outside, tired of being cooped up. So we we all head to the woods. Everybody anticipating this. It's about to go down. So when everybody get there, you know how it go. Yeah, yeah, we're about to punish y'all, bitch. That's how it's going. 
That's just how it's going. I mean, fuck you, nigga. What is you? You know? So, so you know what I'm saying? Plus, now, since my, my, my brother let me express myself, you know what I'm saying, on this YouTube thing, I'm going to pull my character out on y'all. So, so they stretch and do whatever or whatever. And before you know it, boom, 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 boom. Come on. Boom, 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 boom. Everybody's getting hit from left to right. Now, Gargamel, even Papa working shit. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Uh-oh, Papa ain't going to conform. That boy ain't conforming to nothing. Look at him. Papa cutting up. You know Papa always could fight. He always could throw them dogs. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing about him. You know, and, and, and whatever happened to him, that ain't changed that fact. He's still out there banging with him. Now, these some big boys they banging with. You know, a lot of dudes wouldn't even fight these dudes. I know a lot of dudes wouldn't fight these dudes that they fight, these beast monsters. They ain't fighting these dudes. So, so they going. Now, Big Phil got a homeboy they call Lopes, but his real name Carlos. You know what I'm saying? A lot of dudes share the same last, the same names. You know what I'm saying? I don't name these dudes. They mamas do. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he got a homeboy they call Lopes, but his real name Carlos. Now, he... He the biggest of all of them. He come, while Gargamel and them and uh, Papa and them fighting the, all their boys, he coming behind these dudes. Boom! Put them to sleep. I'm talking about every time he hit one of them, boom! They fall in the sleep. Gargamel put, man, Gargamel put one of Big Field home boys in something so nice. I'm going to just show you how he did it. He dodged the lick and he said, bam! 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 Sleep! This a big nigga he dropped like this. Nigga dropped like a sack of bricks. Boom. Ain't you know a nigga out when a nigga don't try to catch his balance. He sleep. So I'm like, oh, Gargamel put that on. Everybody's doing that. You know, cheers going on. Oh, you know, it's a fight. So this going on. But Lope started running up behind dudes while he previously engaged in some shit. Bam, 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 bam. You know, and then boom. Knocking them out. Now, after a while of this going on, you know, Gargamel, now he's starting to pay attention. Damn, my dudes getting low. Now, they, 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 uh, Big Phil and them homeboys got all they dudes except four. Because Gargamel and Papa done put four of them on injury reserve. He done, they can put them down. You know, like I said, I'll put you guys in the episode. You know, I'm going to keep rolling. So, you know, he, Pal, Pal, and Gargamel and the other homeboys did doing their thing. But now they only got six people left. And they damn near got their whole squad except four people. Man, this all you see. Bam, bam, boom, boom, bam, bam. Boom, boom, bam, 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 bam. That's what it looked like to me. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, bam, 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 bam. Head wobbling. Boom, 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 boom. Get up off the ground. Papa and Gargamel keep getting up. They getting dropped constantly. You can't help it. If a, if a nigga say he gonna maintain with all these dudes, you might can beat two or three dudes. I know I can whoop the hell out of two or three dudes. I know that. My reflexes are raw. So if you say you can maintain with all them dudes, licks coming from everywhere, you're lying. So boom, 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 boom. Man, them dudes stomped the hell out of Gargamel them. Man, but that ain't shit. They held their own. Everybody's saying, oh, them boys held their own against y'all big ass motherfuckers. Them boys here they own. And they did. And they did. And that's respect. That's where the respect come in at. So, so this happened. You know, everybody licking their wounds at this time. Things that calm down. Everything good. So now I'm going to fast forward this up until we back. Because once it calmed down, it calmed down. Everybody can have their feel. You know, that's how it is. And dudes and nobody attack nobody from the back. Cause that beef, when it's when something like that happened, that beef on pause in that situation too. You can make a move if you want to. Even my crew gonna get on your ass and stomp you out. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, even worse, roll your ass up out of here. Cause you see what's going on. This a big fight. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit can catch on. You know, a chain reaction. Everybody, before you know, it's an all-out brawl. Uh, many people getting hurt. Hundreds and hundreds of people getting hurt. Because of you want to sling a blade while a big fight going on. Well, let's keep moving. All right. So 
So we back at this time. Now everybody's still out going about A, B, C, D dorms, domiciles. They moving about, doing whatever they do to sum it up. Doing whatever they do. You know what I'm saying? And we just back chilling, talking, just and and everybody's just talking about the fight. That's what you do. You still hyped up, your blood's still pumping. So you're talking about what just happened. So while we doing this, hold on. While we doing that, we see CO's in the building. CO Holland and CO Martin come walking. When they come in, she's still hysterical. She's still crying. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Calm down, girl. I got your back. I'm with you. We're going to take care of this shit. They come in the dorm. We can hear every word they're saying because they loud. You, 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 I'm, my baby ain't even gonna have no daddy. Baby ain't gonna have no daddy. What? Everybody, man, when you hear chatter going on around this vicinity of them, you hear that shit cease. That shit stopped. Everybody like, baby, Jerome got met. Jerome, that's why it's called destruction in the life. The, Jerome had then got. CO CO Holland pregnant. How about I say poor? Yeah, but anyway, he hadn't got her pregnant. You know, she is hysterical. So when they come in, they going, they ain't going to different dudes now. They going to cruise. We watching them go up to cruise. They come in talking about we gonna handle this together. I got your back shit. You know what I'm saying? We know what they doing or whatever. So they going around different dudes. You can see different dudes. Yeah, yeah. For real? Like that? So after a while, we sitting up, they come up to us. It's money to be made. And it's e it's that easy street shit too. You feel me? That's, that's another prison thing, that easy street. That means you're getting hamburgers, you're getting whatever you want, you know, yada, yada, yada. Whatever you want. Head too. You know what I'm saying? If you want it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's that easy street. So they talking to us. Yeah, so yeah, I want them gone. I don't want I want all Raylan homeboys for what they did to Jerome. I want them out of here. I want them, I don't want them to have a possibility they can go home. I want them left here. That's what she said. And I swear, we're gonna protect y'all. Y'all ain't, ain't nothing gonna come about this situation. So we like, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. You know, I still remember this with Remo. We both of us for sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What? So like that, you know, we laying it on thick with the bullshit. So we 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 just listening to them talk or whatever. So, well, let it, we're gonna come check with y'all tomorrow and see if y'all wanna get down. I'm get I'm making sure they I'm putting swords together. I'm making sure they getting out of here. All right, I'll ask tomorrow then. Yeah, we're going to let y'all know where we ain't getting involved in that shit. The hell wrong with you? Uh, but she started going around, you know what I'm saying? Talking to different dudes. Now, after they finish doing this, they leaving out. Cookie Man coming in. I'll put this on everything. Cookie Man coming in. This is a day I couldn't forget. So we see Cookie. Remember I told you he had been acting strange since he's been back. But today, all of a sudden, he's been jolly. He's been talkative, you know. And now he's coming in, heading straight for this side. So everybody like, where the hell he going, you know? So when he walking this side, dudes start running out. Dudes coming out of there like he putting them out of there. Dudes coming out of there. So we like, damn, man, we're going to wait a little minute, and we're going to go see what's popping over there or whatever. You know, we talking to each other. So we wait about a good five minutes. But before we can make it over there, we hear, oh, oh, we hear this. Now, hold on, that ain't shit. We get up, we head to D side. When we get there, man, cooking man ain't got no nice stick or nothing. Boom, 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 boom. All you see is this. Oh, 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 That's Lord body. That's Lord face. Boom, boom, boom. Man, Cookie Man can fight. 
we realized Cooking Man used to be a boxer. Like I said, this channel will never end. I got shit to come for days and shit to show y'all. I'm, I'm going to give y'all the name of everything, you know. So, you know, Cooking Man in there working this boy. Like, boom, boom, boom. He doing shit like you could tell he was a professional boxer. We had never seen him just really throw them dogs. We didn't see him sneak up behind dudes and boom, 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 hit dudes or hit dudes, crack them with that billy club. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, billy club is a nice thing. You know what I'm saying? Now, now, that, now that pop is something different. It's flat. Pop, it puts you to sleep. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? He in there working Lord. Now, we, we Cookie Man got Lord blocked, you know, because he's a pretty wide guy. You know what I'm saying? Cookie Man, he... Boom, boom. That's when Law go down. Boom. As soon as he go down, you see a kick. Boom. Then you see a knee. Boom. Like, damn, he's bad. And he was bad. Like, I'm telling you, I have to get it. You know what I'm saying? He bad. So he went down on him. Boom. He kept going down. Now, when he went down on Law the, the third time, boom, that's when we seen Law mouth. All his teeth was gone. The, well, the ones we could see, they weren't they were there no more. So this is this is what got me cooking, man. Kept going with the knee. Boom, boom. Now his body was still, he was out, but his body was still doing this. And after a while, his body stopped doing that. That means no more brain function. When your body don't do that no more, his body just jumping from the impact. That's it. He ain't no longer doing that. We know a dude gone. That ain't the kicker, man. Everything's still good. Making sure the volume, everything's still good. All right. That ain't the kicker. All right. <laughs> that ain't the kicker. This the kicker. I need backup and medical to do to de-domicile. I've been attacked by an inmate. No, man. He said that man attacked him. Yeah. Toy shirt. And radio for backup and medical and say he's been attacked. By Emmy, he knew he couldn't let this dude survive for one, and he knew he had to let he had to explain what happened with this situation. Cause dude down there looked like man. I put up a picture of Lord, you know, during the seasons. Y'all just didn't know. I put up a picture of Lord in the hospital, you know, and that was from his family. That was the picture from his family. Man, when I tell you this dude looked like a, a cheese puff, this man, bro, this man ain't wasn't recognizable. He wasn't recognizable. He he destroyed this man. Now, okay, now we're gonna fast forward up, you know what I'm saying, for the sake of time. Because you you know they bought that bullshit. Mackie was the first one on scene. They bought all that bullshit he said. So that wasn't even that's not even an issue. All right. So we're going to fast forward up just about, about an hour and something later. Now, everybody out there talking. Now, we see Michael. He talking to a group of dudes. Man, Cookie Man, the hope for that. Cookie Man, you know what I'm saying? Man, if it was your brother, you wouldn't be hollering that same shit. Lord did Cookie Man brother. You know, so it's easy to say. One thing, when it's when 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 the shoes on the other feet, until they're on your feet, then you want revenge. You know, rather, rather it's that penalty that the state give you that lethal injection. I, I see a lot of people that's for that. You know what I'm saying? So all right, keep moving. All right. So my kids just talking to these group of dudes or whatever. Yeah, cookies, man, fucked up with that. Yeah, yeah, whole motherfucker. He just going off hard. So we see Wayne. Come walking. This dude stopped his conversation. I'm talking about mid-sentence. Stop this. If all this happening before sundown. Stop his conversation. Mid-conversation. Run up behind this man. Grab him. Take off running. Man, when I tell you, you can see where he hit that man at. And I want everybody to see this live. So that's why I'm doing it how I'm doing it. I'm carefully picking my words. 
you know. So even though my homeboy, whatever y'all understand. So he was hit here, you know, and that ticker. He was hit here in that ticker. You know what I'm saying? Because his body seized immediately. That second hit seized his body. And he was still, boom, didn't make another eye. His eye didn't. If you never seen something like this, you don't know how it affects you. And you will never forget it. You never see another eye blink. Certain spots, you can finish a person and still see nerve movement. But when you get hit here, there's not another step, another breath, another movement. None of that. So this dude just seized up. Boom. Just like that. And he struck out running. He struck out running. That that right there is a, a, a lot of my dreams and a lot of my dreams because I never wanted a dude to ever catch me like that where I didn't have a fighting chance. You know what I'm saying? I always envision if I'm going to go out, I'm going I'm to have a fighting chance. You know what I'm saying? Give me He didn't have no chance to even defend himself. He couldn't. You was done before you can even talk about putting your hands up. Everything stopped. There's no more circulation from here to nowhere. That stopped. I want y'all to understand every word that I'm saying. I seen these things. This ain't no fake shit. I seen this with these eyes. And I'm tired of people saying that. I told you I'm going to give you the proof. So, like I said, let's move on. All right, so like I said, we're going to fast forward up to when the sun just started going down. Everybody's still out. The pen pals, they writing all their girls, the, 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 the chess, the checkers, all this out, everybody out. Now, we see the queens walking around, talking to different people. They in a jolly, jolly mood. This is how treacherous everything is. Walking around. Jolly, talking to everybody, different dudes. And all of a sudden, they all get together in the hug. They talk for a little minute, not long, and then they start walking. It, I'm watching them because they slick and sneaky as hell. So I'm, every time I see them move, I watch them till they get the fuck back around me. So, you know, and I'm cool with them at this time. So... They come walking, and when they walking, they all just got their hands. Ain't nothing in their hands. They just got their hands behind their back walking. And they just doing a little bullshit talking. You know they're talking when you really ain't saying nothing. But you're playing like you're saying something. That's the talking they're doing. Now, we trying to figure out what they doing, what's their motive. Now, we find, now this is what I found out later. D'Angelo and the cleanup crew just got a pack in. They just got a pack in. I see two of his homeboys out serving. Now, cigarettes then became a rare commodity, so it's a commodity now. You get me? So, and the more cigarettes they get, the higher cigarettes go. All right. So, so they walk, and I see D'Angelo homeboy and them serving. You know, they making little deals and little plays with dudes or whatever. You know, and we like, you know, and it, you, you can think something, and it don't happen. You know, but the, the we thinking, oh man, they about to they about to get this shit started. As soon as they get about about this this level of make sure y'all can see it, it's wider than this, it just goes off the screen. About this level and distance, they take off running. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they the first dude, Rob, they cut him in the back of his neck. They cut him in the back of his neck. Man, listen. They went to work. Yeah, we're going to get all y'all motherfuckers out of here. Here, ha, ha. These still men at the end of the day. A lot of people underestimate that fact. These still men. And they strong too, you know. And, and I respect what they want to be called because I have no issues like that. You know what I'm saying? So they going to work. Huh, 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 huh. We see one dude lip. I mean, lip almost off. Lip almost off. I'm giving it to you raw today. Lip. Almost off. That's some nasty, disgusting looking shit. Lip almost hanging off. They, uh, 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 uh. they work them dudes and they strike out. They strike the fuck out. When they was when Ramon was running the Queens, they was on that walkout shit. That's what that's that that's that 
intimidation tactic. See, Ramon was a thinker. You know, even though I ain't like that motherfucker, that motherfucker was a thinker. You had to think against him. You just wasn't, you just wasn't gonna run up on Ramon. This motherfucker Tina, this motherfucker is uh what you call it? Uh compulsive, like they it don't matter, just jump off and do some shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I mean. So so they strike off. They strike off. Man, I'm, I'm high as hell, y'all. They strike off. So now you know D'Angelo, he coming or whatever. He come down there, he do all that screaming and hollering and shit. You know what I'm saying? You got your homeboys out here, know how dangerous it is, but you got them out here peddling this shit for you to make you rich. You know what I'm saying? Because he wasn't feeding them dudes well anyway. They just feared him because all the dudes would never get on the same mind. Though. So he come down, oh, oh, I swear I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. He cutting up. You know, I don't even believe shit he's saying. I don't even believe because I would have, my brother, we're going to then make a move. We're going to sit there and plan it out and then make that move. So this happened. Now, I'm going to go ahead because nothing really came about that either. For time's sake, let's fast forward this up a little bit. So and once again, you know, it's getting later and later. So everybody just still out. You know what I'm saying? Dudes, dudes still, all this happening in one day. And dudes are still lighthearted because I'm getting somewhere with that too. Dudes still lighthearted. You, you, you doing shit that you ain't supposed to be doing. You ain't sticking close to your crew. You know, we, we getting there. Because, man, this was a bad day for us as well. So, everything, board games, everybody's still playing board games. You know what I'm saying? We're a couple hours from lockdown. So, you know, they still playing that last hour of games or whatever. You know, so, we see Zip Crew. Now, we like, God damn, everybody walking down by Seaside. We sitting on the bench in front of Seaside. You know what I'm saying? In front of, in front of them, our main dorm, which me, Remo, and all us in there. You know what I'm saying? And the other fellas might be in a different dorm, but in the same domicile. They in different, you know, other domiciles as well. You know what I'm saying? So, but don't have no issues because they're not in the same dorm in the domicile as our enemies. All right, keep rolling. So, so we see them walking instantly. We start looking around. Who, who, because when dudes walking like that and they got every last dude in your crew got their shoes on. Every last dude in your crew got, that's when you know something about to pop off. So we, we know, man, look, tennis, Nick. So we know something about to happen. So we look around, we see one of Marquis' homeboys, he playing chess with another dude. Now this ain't going where y'all think it's going. He playing chess. With another dude. You know, he into the game or whatever. They walk and pass him just like this. You know, they pass him up. And when they get past him, they turn around like this and come back and get on him. All of them start jugging dude. All of them. And it's about it's about three or four at this time. Not too sure, but I'm I'm, I'm leaning towards three. That, it, uh, uh, that they was walking. And the rest of them, you know, and the rest of them was falling back. You, know, you When you make a move, you know, you keep reserve soldiers. You don't just throw all your soldiers right there. But it's a good thing they did that. So, huh, 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 they hit dude up and strike out running. Soon as they strike out running, they run straight into O. O and his whole entire crew. And they slaughtered them dudes. They saw them. When did that evil ass shit y'all just did to that dude? And ran up on a nigga and he finished y'all ass. I'm talking about old them gave it to them boys. Old them gave it. Remember, they hit old cousin uh uh Dooney by mistake. Uh, cause he was uh also, you know, well, no, it was it was his homeboy, but uh Marquis homeboy cousin. That's how that went. So they hit him by mistake thinking he was with Marquis crew too. So O didn't forget that. O slaughtered their ass. That ain't where I'm getting at. So now all this going on, all this going on, all this happening. So 
We like, man, this shit going down today, boy. Dudes getting slaughtered left and right. Man, say Evan. Man, where the fuck Evan at? Where Evan at? We strike our way into his door. When we get to the door, man, this shit still tear me up to this day. When we get to his door, my brother crawling to us. He crawling to us. He crawling. He been crawling for a while because you can see the trail where he started it. You can see the trail where he started it. He crawling to us. And it's come, he coughing it up. It's coming up. He crawling. Oh, whatever. So, uh, we pick him up and we strike out to the gate. We ain't caught. We strike to the gate with him. We run him with him. When we get to the gate, the 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 uh the dude in the key, he looks down. The CEO in the key, he looks down. He sees us. We we need some help. We need some help right now. They did this to my brother. He radio for help. Medical CEOs come about ten minutes. Now we sitting at the gate, you know, watching our brother just fade slowly. We at the gate, so. We watching him fade, and they take their precious time come. When they come, they walk around him, almost like they sizing him up. Then finally, they start applying bandages and patches, and I don't know if y'all know what salt is. You know what I'm saying? They put the salt on it. The army use it as well. It, it You know, it disinfects, uh, infected, you know, so you don't get an infection, plus it helps stop bleeding as well. You know, a lot of you guys in the military, I don't know the correct name for it. We just call it salt. So they use that on him, put the patches on him, and take him out. And I'm going to stop it there. Not the story, but that situation about Evan because there's more to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fast forward with this all the way up to that next morning. Cock and doodle doo time. It makes only feet on your feet. We all get up. Now, normally, if the breach team going to come in, they going to come in, they woke us up so we'll slip. And here they come. Woo! Get out! Get out! Boom! Boom! They hitting dudes. They hitting dudes because everybody start breaking and running. They, they, caught, they, caught, they caught dudes slipping left and right. We been stop keeping anything in the dorm because we know how they rocking now. You know? So... They coming through. Boom, boom. When I tell you they find a cigarettes, oh, it's getting terrible now because the, the everybody don't have cigarettes no more. It's only a few dudes and they selling them motherfuckers high. It's $10 for one cigarette. It's $10 for one cigarette. That's how high it is. And you're not going to get no whole cigarette. You're going to get a pinhead. It's like a joint, but a pinhead. That's what you're going to get. They're going to break one cigarette down and make about 20 cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. So that's what you're paying ten dollars for. So, man, when I tell you they find cartons upon cartons of cigarettes, oh, this about to get hectic and nasty, man. And they doing this simultaneously in every dorm, every dorm. They doing this. They finding weapons. They knocking motherfuckers off their feet. Boom. The warden didn't have enough. He didn't, he sent them in there with no restrictions. Almost. You know, just say not martial law, but lawlessly. Just boom, boom, beat their ass. Do whatever you gotta do. I need weapons. I need something to show for y'all going in there. That's I'm, 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 I'm. The my words now. The my words. But that's what it seemed like. We know because they never come in just swinging on dudes. This day they come in swinging on dudes. They just hitting dudes. Boom, boom. They find stuff. They zip tie. I'm talking about zip tie. Put the zip tie on your hands. Put the zip tie on your feet and zip tie that together. You're like this. You're like this. And they carry their ass outside, throw them in the dirt. Like that, yeah. It's wrong like that. Yeah, so, so now I'm going to stop this episode here because this is where the other episode pick up. Now, we can take some questions, guys. And like I said, I'm going to answer them. Your questions, as long as they is not interfering with the episodes, what's coming up for me to tell tell you guys? All right, what we got? Cause somebody asked me about the questions. I wonder why mine hesitating like that. 
Okay. I can't tell you what happened to Evan. It's, man, I want to, but I, I just can't. You would like to be on the production team? We got a meeting. Uh, 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 thank uh, this sis, Kai Royale, posted the link that we having a meeting today, actually, at 3 o'clock. Uh, uh, my time. Well, I think we pushed the meeting to 4.30. I don't know, because uh, Shamika don't get off from her job to like 4.30, something like that, I'm, I'm assuming, you know, this, you know, so I think we pushed it to 4.30, but if you see the link, I think it's something you have to download, I haven't even downloaded it yet, so I get on that after this right here, I'm going to read both of them, because, you know, it's my first time, guys, that's why I'm looking like I'm blind and shit, this is my first time actually seeing it right there, so I'm going to look in both spots, so I can get some, most of you guys' questions, why was no sense locked up? No sense had, uh, uh, you know, issues, a lot of issues, and he did some things. He was just doing a bunch of different things, you know, and he his first record started when he stabbed a, uh, a classmate with a pencil. He stabbed a classmate with a pencil, and one of his old, he's with one of his older cousins. He's actually in the fucking prison, really, if you want to be honest about it. Like, it's a joyride charge, but... He had he he was already on paper. He was already on paper. So this is what got him his major time. But he had other charges too. You know, his even his dad, you know, used to call the police on him because he used to just, you know, cut up, you know, like that. So, but his dad really just wanted to get him help. He didn't want him to go to jail. Man. But he was just basically in jail for jaw riding, but you broke your your uh probation or parole, whichever one he was on. You know, I ain't too in depth. I will ask him more when he actually get here next week, you know. So I will ask him more. Uh, what do we have now? In the last video, it's posted two. Let's just say it's posted two or three times in a, in the last video. Uh, where is no sense? Uh, I'm gonna, I won't give his location at all, you know. Cause I don't know what his lifestyle is, but he will be here next week, you know. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how that work. We gonna, we gonna play that by ear. I want, I want y'all to meet him, so we'll play that by ear. You know what I'm saying? I just want to see where he at when he get here. You know, see how, see how he is now. On the phone, he was talking. He was talking better. I think we made him better. I think him spending time around us actually taught him more how to talk and relate to people. Because when we first met him, he was like, a, 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 he'll repeat the same thing over and over and over and over again. But now he's getting full sentences. He's observing everything. You know, like I said, anybody can learn. You can keep somebody who they classify as retarded around you, and you'll see they begin begin to change. I had a cousin that couldn't read, but she moved in with my mother, and she, she now has her own apartment, you know, manage her money, can read different things like that. You know, like I said, you know, I was taken from my, well, my mother gave me up, you know. Hey, I already told that story. You can watch the live on that. But we know where you tell us the institutions uh, that these events occurred in. Guys, this channel is going to last. This ain't no fly by night channel. I'm a smart dude. I know every time to lay things out, you know. So I'm gonna do all that. You know what I'm saying? Just right now, I'm not releasing it. Uh, I, I, uh, it's for it's for other purposes. It's not because I'm not gonna release it. I will believe me. I will, and I will release it with paperwork, undisputable paperwork. Shit you can't deny. Shit that can't be retracted. So just. Just help me with me, fuck with me, if you want to. That's your choice. I want you to make that choice. You don't have to. Oh, uh, yeah. But, uh, just want to say thank you, man. I appreciate it, Daniel Fox. I appreciate you. You are appreciated. Uh, where is Laco? In the living room. <laughs> That's what you, he, he's in the living room. That's where he is. Uh, Posted in the last video, cheeky. In the last video, all right. Uh, 
Pampa and Gargamel have no idea, have no idea, but I want to track them down. You know, like I said, this channel will never end. You know, I even got brothers who got stories. We're going to sit down and talk their stories out. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Believe that. You know, all this is, I'm, I'm playing this out. So this channel will never end. The new Jack never going to end. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people like, I'm going to hate when these stories know we're going to have something even more fantastic after that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a thinker. Trust me. I have a very high IQ. Very high. All right. So uh, who else we got? Uh, you going to interview Beast? Hell yeah, I interview Beast. Yeah, yeah. Beast want money, man. Every, money make the world go round. I, it's, it's no limits when, when you offer me money. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, everybody going to be down. I Like I said, I don't want to fund the organization, but for you guys, and plus, you know, the channel is going to build from this. So, you know, I had to re-sit down and rethink this thing out. You know, like I said, I'm a thinker. So I had to think this out, you know, and it's going to actually bring content, uh, context to all this by interviewing the presidents as well, you know. What was going through your mind at the time? Just like what I did, Sergeant Larry. Like I said, I'm going to release all this. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's just going to make it even better. Then after, after while they're shooting their seasons that we partner with, I'm also building uh, 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 my youth center and I'm building a uh, state-of-the-art uh, film studio to actually start shooting our own series for YouTube as well. Yeah. I'm working on a lot. That's why it's a lot you guys don't understand that I'm moving. I'm constantly moving, you know, and, I, and I'm thankful I got my brothers. I just want to say that. Thankful I got my brothers to take up my slack for the things that I can't do, you know. But like I said, if you guys ever in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, look me up and you can come participate in some of these good things we got going down here. Go to the community center, talk to some of these kids, man. See what's going on. Even go to your local community center and talk to your your the youth and see what's going on in your community. Believe it. And that's why I said, and somebody else, I, I want to address this as well. Somebody else said uh something about Dante again. Uh when did Dante say this? Because I'm I always watch his channel. Listen, I went back. He was on the live. He was on my live. I didn't see him then, but he was on my live. But this is not a competition. He said his purpose is to help the youth. If that's his purpose, I'm game. I will work with him. There's, man, listen, you know the kind of impact if all of us get together, we can make. You know what I'm saying? We can change some shit. I ain't, I ain't bought that competition shit, all this. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I appreciate everybody's uh, sub, subscribing and stuff like that. But this ain't why I do this. This ain't why I do this. And I, and I love that y'all love me and, and, you know, gravitate to the channel or whatever. Man, I appreciate that. We family. You know what I'm saying? But I don't do this for attention, money, things like that. Man, we, we, we need some things to change. We ain't going to change the whole world, but we can change a lot of things that's close in our circle, man. All right, let me get on. I don't want to rant, go on a rant wave. Um, is Rima, is, how is, oh, you saying how is Tanika still? How is Remo doing? I want, I want to, uh, I want to see my brother. That's one, that's one dude who I got to find. I got to find him. Man, this dude is the best dude to be around here. Had you laughing all damn day long. He, your stomach will be hurt by the time you finish laughing at this dude. I'm telling you, he's just a funny dude. He's just naturally funny. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. And my brothers, they wouldn't even mind me saying this. When my brothers came around me, understand this. They was doers. You know what I mean? <laughs> brute. Brute. Me? I was smart. I was smart. I can outthink my opponent still to this day, you know. So, and that's how I do things. If you go against me, you better get ready. You better get ready. But that's another subject. Like I said, I'm a real person. I'm not a YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? This is not your average professional channel, guys. 
this is real people, real life. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, if anybody disagree with that, I, I swear I want you to make the best decision for your life. You know what I mean? I can't stop that. So when dudes behind my heart, I ain't watching no more until this happened or this happened. Shit, you be waiting all day, baby. You be waiting all day. Because I ain't that type of dude that move off nobody else's energy. I move off my own energy. And I live my life. I don't live my life for others. That's how everybody should be. Live your life for you. You're going to live miserably trying to worry about what somebody else thinks of you. Yeah. According to Carter, man, I appreciate that donation, baby. I seen it come through cash out. But uh, I'm going to take a couple more questions, and then uh, I'm going to start prepping for this meeting. Uh, but like I said, the merch is ready. Um, I just got uh, everything in. I wanted it all in at one time because I get a better deal if I ship it all together. So that's what held up everybody else. So, But, you know, I just sold a lot of merch already. So a lot of people that hit me up, and I just sold a lot of merch. And I appreciate you guys for that. I'm going to actually put y'all in a, a special video for purchasing this merch, man. Because you know me. I take this money and put this money back into the community center. I'm, all, I'm already straight in life. You know what I'm saying? And plus, it ain't making no better when I sign this uh, and partner up with this uh, with these seasons and this episode coming out this series. You know, so, yeah. But... Patricia Harris, appreciate the donation. Still going to put you in the episode. All you guys. I'm just shouting it out as I go. All right. So where is Cookie Man? Shit. You would know if I found Cookie Man. But it, 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 I knew where he was at one once, once upon a time. You know, but I don't know where he at now. I'm going to just put it like that. And where I... Now, because I give something away. So, yeah, just put it like this. I don't know where he is now. All right, who else? And I appreciate you guys. Uh, hardcore boxing news. Smash that like button. I appreciate you guys doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and y'all know they actually help the channel. They give you more leniency. And, and, I, and, I, and I get it. It's always the people who never showed they support, who got the most to say, you know, and I'm going to just put that out there, not throwing no names, there's nobody Pacific, you so lazy that you, you don't want to see your own, yourself grow, because this channel is for all of us, you know what I'm saying, I don't rock like that, I stay humble, I ain't like everybody will get the big head, oh yeah, I'm this, I'm, man, I'm going to be the same G every time you see me, every time you see me, I'm the same G. You know, all right, moving on. Y'all, hey, man, it's it's a lot of things that happened today. It, it threw me in that fucking mode, you know what I'm saying? And I'll get that to y'all another time as well, you know, but, okay. Okay, yeah, 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 I remember you, Rambo. Do you think you could survive without the New Jack crew? I'm glad you did that, because that's what I wanted to answer in the beginning when I said I forgot. It's, it's you and another guy that asked me this. I want to see what you say. Do you think I survived? Think about it. I was in prison. I came home and became a millionaire. And became a millionaire. You think I survived on my own? I'm just a smart dude all around. I know a lot of dudes come home from prison and go right back. <laughs> That's the only thing they accomplish. Come home from prison and go right back. I came home from prison, opened up a car lot, opened up first opened up a landscape business. Then opened up a car lot. Then became a millionaire. You know what I mean? So I think I would. I would like to think I would. But, you know, again, again, that's up to the higher power. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I would like to think I would survive. I would like to think I have enough this right here to survive. And I, 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 I would. I would. So, yeah, all right. Is... Yeah, 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 but them dudes ain't been making no noise, but we getting to them because they've been underground. They've been underground, but they've been doing a lot that don't nobody know about. That's coming too. That's why I say I can't answer upcoming things. Them dudes been doing a lot, bro. But, yeah, they still a girl. Yeah, 
No, 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 no. I never been seen for PTSD or or Max One. I never been seen for that. The most I ever sleep is four hours a night. You know what I'm saying? Last night was the best sleep I got in a long time. Last night, but a lot of times I have a lot of bad dreams, and not even, sometimes it ain't dreams. My nerves just get to acting up. You know what I'm saying? That's why I tell dudes, listen, every, and I won't put this as blunt as possible. If, if you just want to see me in person and test me, understand what you're doing. Understand what you're doing. That's all I say about that. Because I'm not, I'm not trying to be that person. Don't want to be that person. I'm just saying, you know, because I'm a bad boy. I'm a bad boy. Because I had one dude, you know, in San Francisco when I was going to meet with these people, accused me of being somebody else, and I had to beat the living shit out of him. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he, his his friends became they they now our brothers on the channel. Yeah, they. If you're on here, say something to him. You know, let him know it's fully legal. It's legit. You know what I'm saying? It's jit on here. That's what they saying. It's jit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I don't take no no pride in that. But I do love it when I come out victoriously. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but I'm trying to get back to it. All right. I'm gonna take two more. Let me find a good one. Find a good one. I'm waiting on somebody to ask one thing so I can answer that. It's something nobody even asked me. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting on that one person to ask me that question. Man, I appreciate a lot of you guys, man. Uh, I know a lot of people here just for the stories. I'm not tripping on that, man. That's what it's all about. You know, and a lot of people here because they genuinely love me and want to really build something with me. And for that, I'm forever grateful to you and loyal to you as well. And loyal to you as well. Believe it. A, a lot of people know it, you know. He said, uh, Travis Lee, yeah, I, I'm hoping it will. But no no doubt, it will. It will. My, my brother has never, neither one of my brothers has ever let me down, ever. I don't never, I don't remember it. And I got a damn good memory. All right. So, yeah. Uh, do you think you would have been able to? Okay. I answered it. Uh, Jamal Harris. That probably was you too. Survive without him. Yeah. I answered. Yeah. I would have. But I'm glad. I'm glad I didn't have to, you know, because I'd probably be super ugly right now. Face cut up from here to there. Uh, nose broke. Jaw broke. I knew a lot of dudes just was beat up. And then once I finished the, the episode, I got other stories that I could tell you guys that happened that don't fit with the storyline. You know what I mean? And that, you know, they don't include the New Jack crew. I'm telling you the New Jack expeditions. You know what I'm saying? So, man, bro, this is this is a, not Lifetime the Network. This is a Lifetime channel. We're going to be here. We're going to outlast a lot of channels. Because it's always real, it's always honest, it's always transparent. I'm not hiding anything. I'm always respectful. If you respectful to me, you could tell you could you could put that like Mackie. Now, if you respect me, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a lot of things I agree with that dude on, you know, in his his philosophies and the way he go about things. And it's a lot of things that I didn't and I just couldn't respect, you know. So you know, yeah. But the, the overall person, that's why I can never really support nothing he do or be a part of nothing he do. Because the overall person he is. All right. I, I was looking for him, guys. So this is a pretty long live, you know. And I, I normally don't stay on here that long, you know. I, I like to stick and move, you know. But I love spending time with you guys. That's why you see me working more and here with you more. I'm getting attached to a lot of you guys. And you know I remember you guys because... You know, I let you know how I remember you when I comment to you. My memory is just phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? I I don't think I and I ain't gonna say that. You know, that's 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 too outlandish. <laughs> that's too outlandish to say I never forgot nothing in my life. You know, but yeah, I try to be as righteous and realistic and real as possible with myself. Because if you lie to yourself, 
then you're in some serious trouble. You're you're a crazy person. Yeah, you're a crazy person. You know, and 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 even how smart I am, if 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 you guys are smart, you will understand. It don't matter how smart I am. There's no way one person can sit here and make up all these stories like this. You know, you, that's giving me a hell of a lot of credit. You know what I'm saying? Man, you know, it got people who got buku writers to write this kind of material. They can't even think of all this in one mind. Man, all these events occur. And like I said, when we get to that stage, man, we're going we gonna to show a lot of non-believers. And I love that it's building like that. That's where I, I want them to keep talking. I want them to keep talking. Just, just as well as, as some people who committed these things, trying to deny it and trying to run from it. There's no running from it, man. There's no running from it. It's coming right at you head on. You're going to have to own up to it, baby. Yeah. But anyway, that's another story. But New Jack Crew stand up. All these trolls out here. Like I said, the brother's coming. And I ain't saying stand up. I don't want no violence to occur because I'm in a changing state in my life. Some of the brothers live for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Some of the brothers live for that. They live for you thinking you can just punch some keys. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be at your damn front door. They're going to track your ass down. You know, and that's why I'm not trying to let it be. So, I'm. A, you know that's going to play back to me? Well, this is your channel. You should have been more aware. That's a that's a lot aware. You should have been more aware of who you was introducing on your channel. And this is no man. I'm not going back to prison. I'm not going back. Let's let's do that. Greg Nice, appreciate the donation. You know, but like I said, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you soon with the next episode. And I'm coming back and do a prison breakdown. I don't know. I might just hit us up and we do a late night prison breakdown, you know what I'm saying? That way all the riffraffs been went on about their business and my real ones, you know what I'm saying? Which I love. Everybody that genuinely love me, I love you guys. If you don't love me, I don't love you. It's as simple as that. But, you know, and I try to love everyone, but you can't do that. You can't love everybody. Everybody won't let you love them, you know? So I'm going to come back and do a prison breakdown, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, a lot of different things. So I don't know if I'll be able to get to it tonight. You know, because like I said, I still got things going on. But uh, tomorrow for sure with the episode or whatever, you know, you'll get both of them. Either you'll get it tonight or you'll get it tomorrow. And, you know, I'm getting, getting faster. This was actually easier. You feel me? So, all right. See you guys later. Appreciate you.